a file uh, import I'm gonna take an OBJ in this case you can't set this to your default path for some reason uh, you'll, so anyway click desktop here and load the object okay now you think that's cool but it's not quite uh, you can see the cube is still selected it looks like the horses but it's not it's the cube so it's kind of like what is up with that uh, I don't know but anyway we can either select the horse or delete the cube I'll just delete that for now I um, guess I need to select that one um, next step here is to go for object mode and choose edit mode you'll see that you'll get this mesh option so click mesh edges and subdivide and it works pretty good uh, it's not like excellent but you know this is I mean it works so um, compared to uh, fixing tons of this stuff uh, manually so once that is done we can export it to OBJ or whatever uh, take this one again too bad I can't set, set this desktop to my default path but anyway um, so to be entered twice and um, let's check um, modeler and load that object from Blender. And I just like doing this in in um, in Modeler. Uh, I just think it's more snappy when when it comes to lower sub D objects and stuff like that. Um, so what I can do is I can merge these guys or merge all of those, merge polygons, take this one, make pull for example, uh, merge these polygons, those and those, uh, hit tab to see what's going on, maybe merge these polys and those, and continue cleaning that up. Um, after you have cleaned this up you could um, mirror it so you don't have to do this to both sides but uh, yeah so some trigons here and there but um continue cleaning this up and fixing it um, you should also consider a 3d coat because it has excellent retopology especially for organic objects like this um, so do check out 3d coat for retopologizing um, there are also other ways we could retopologize uh, we could do it Kind of like uh, using plugins in Lightwave, um, or uh, we can also use Heat Shrink, but that's for another video. 